It's more than just these matcha Jojos. And more than this chocolate caramel Yokies. Yeah, they don't have the best ingredients, but at least with Trader Joe's, it's non-GMO given. So, I mean, it has matcha green tea in it and other stuff. But don't worry about that because this is all seasonable. It comes out every spring. And they didn't have the matcha ice cream yet. But if you have a chance... You need to try this. It's almost like a crepe, to tell you the truth. This is toasted coconut pancake mix, and you really do just add water. And um, I know they use canola oil in here in this, but who, you know, whatever. They're non-GMO, so you're 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 gonna be okay. Also, guess what else I have here? An old letter that I was going to read over this live stream because you won't believe the story of this. So, me and um, I call, we called her JC in high school in Alaska. We, um, hold on, I'll be right back. Hold on. Got like the worst allergies, and um, I'm not feeling well. But you know what? I can't just not do anything. I just need this right now. This needs to be blowing on me. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Ah. I don't know this part of the this part of the house gets a little toasty <sighs> needed a little bit of something <laughs> anyway Jennifer um, I tried to call her it's okay well she's got kids it's you know how busy it is when you have kids it's almost impossible to get you know I'm just gonna open it over this live stream. I used to live in Las Vegas a few times during my life. And this was back in 1997. What happened is she had moved. And I sent her the letter because that's how you used to keep in touch. There was no texting. I think there was email, but it was very slow and it was AOL or something. And it was just, you know. So it was better just use snail now. And look, I had happy faces on both sides of her address. Dick Tracy stamp. Who remembers that movie? Well, it was a comic, right? And then uh, my, my birthday's in April, so I'm prone to daisies naturally. I mean, I love, my favorite flower is the Fringapani. It depends on where you live, but also a plumeria. But I like daisies because that's my birth, birth, you know, flower, whatever they call that, for the month of April. And I'm diamond for the birthstone. So I made these address labels. And I lived on Desert Inn Road. So back then, I think I had just started working at the Mirage Hotel. No, that was three years after. So... A lot had changed because I had surgeries, lots of stuff in my life was weird. And my brothers, Hugh and Tao, were my roommates. So we lived on West Desert Inn. 
It was right up the street from my sister. Uh, you don't know Las Vegas, some of you, but there's now a big Desert Breeze Park there. And we ha they moved, we all moved away from that area. It started to get too expanded. So on the back, we've got this Virgin Spell. I don't know where I got this sticker from. It says, Un Monde Nouveau. Something d'amour. I don't know what, what it, that even, filatry. Don't know what that means. It says, a soft, white, and sensual fragrance. Its power of attraction inspires true love. White flowers, cedars, and musk. Ade toilette. Natural spray. And it says Paris right here. And then I wrote in, uh, this is, this is an arrow and it says okay. And there's a question mark. But um, what happened was I sent this to Jennifer JC. She's Jennifer Jennifer JC to this day. And I guess she had just in this year, she had just found out she was pregnant and she was married or getting married. I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't get to get to much get to count that ah, contact. So, um, even from 1997, Virgin Spell still has a, has this <laughs> golden sheen. Do you see it? It kind of shiny. So I'm about to break this open and she lives in Colorado still, but this was when I addressed it to the wrong address. So here we go. Um, I don't know. I just, I think I'm just going to cut a side of it to kind of preserve, you know, kind of preserve some of the envelope a little. So you got that. Oh, look at this. This is the first time I'm seeing this since 1997. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It's a Siamese cat. It says, wait, Champagne Tokenes, Filas Catus. Originally bred in Canada, this curious and active cat combines the best characters of Siamese and Burmese breeds from which it was developed. The blue-eyed Tokenese, I might be saying that Tonkinese, retains the color of points of the Siamese on a more evenly shaped body. Recognized colors include natural mink, honey mink, platinum, blue, and champagne. Like its oriental ancestors, the Tonkinese enjoys company, is very vocal and demanding love and attention. And some kind of paper house productions from New York. That's pretty cool, huh? You can like set it up on a shelf and it look like a little kitty is there. And what else we got? Well, I guess we should open what's, did I write anything inside? Let's look. Oh, it says Happy New Year. Happy New Year, 1998, love Linda. And then it says two more years and it's the turn of the millennium. Yeah, because it was gonna be 1998. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? She's going to get this, by the way. I'm going to send it to her. So I was wishing her a Happy New Year. That's why it's addressed in December 29th, 1991. She would have got it in time. But this is so late. Oh, and here's the letter. The letter. I'm going to read this letter. And there's something else in here. She is gonna get this letter. Jen, JC, if you're watching, you're still gonna get this letter. Oh. So, out fell, there's a stamp. It says Republic of South Africa. It's a stamp that's stamped, like a collector stamp. And what's this? 
We used to just send random things to each other. This says Ceramica, Main Street, Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut, New York, New York, Scarsdale, New York. It's like a Ceramic Studios business card advertisement. And it says Aqua on the big jar in the middle here. That's pretty cool, huh? So these were included, random things you send with your letters to make it interesting. And then we got the actual letter. Wait, let me get something here. This would look nicer, right? That. There you go. Here's the letter. It's It says December 27, 1997. Oh my gosh. And I put J parentheses C. It was nice talking to you on the phone. So I'm thanking you for thanking me. Anyways, I don't think I'll be going out on New Year's Eve. It's on a Wednesday and I work the next day. Oh, that's when I couldn't have weekends off and I hated it because I was so low in the totem pole and seniority, that's how hotels are. But I sure had a nice Christmas because it was on Thursday and I'm off the next day. See, Friday and Saturday. Oh, I'm, I was off Friday and Saturday. My grandparents were here and they are some hip grandparents, quote unquote. Oh, I miss my grandma. We went and saw Titanic. That's my number one movie now. Before it was Braveheart, and I did like Pulp Fiction, but it didn't really give me that feeling after you see it and walk back out to reality. Don't you feel like that when you go into a movie? <sighs> wow, this is taking me back. Anyways, it's a great love story. And I was sobbing at the end when, well, I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it. See it. Oh my gosh. The next line contains somebody's name who was my boyfriend that I'm not going to say. We ate too much and it's funny because he's hating it. I don't know what we ate. I had so much sweets this holiday. I better not treat myself for the rest of the year. <laughs> Whoa, I went overboard. I'll have to wait till next crappy Christmas. Yeah, right. I don't know why I put crappy in that. My tree died about five days ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so random. <laughs> what tree? The good thing is it's not shedding these. Oh, the Christmas tree. It's all intact and dried up like firewood. <laughs> we should take it down, chop it up, and sell it to my dad so he can use it in his fireplace. You think I'll give it to him? Hell no. Blank says we can't because the wood is petrified now because we left it up too long. <laughs> then I put ha ha. We didn't use LOL. There was no LOL. I hope your Christmas went well. I'll probably give you a call sometime. Okay, okay bye. Talk to you later. And then I put a love and a peace sign. That's pretty cool, huh? Wow. That brings me back. I was with that guy. Oh boy, you don't want to know his name. Anyway, let me just um, get over here to these chocolate caramel yokies. Anyway, <laughs> I just, I'm like moving on because that just took me through a whole bunch of emotions and I need to get over. I need to move along, move along. Nothing to see here. These caramel chocolate yokies. I was told that I guess it spills caramel. So we're gonna cut it open and check it out. I'm excited about chocolate right now because I've been looking at these in the store. Look and look in the back. It's like you can bust it. See how see how they're just so ingenious when they when they invent their stuff. I need a napkin, it's getting kind of melty. I don't know why it's hot in here. Look, 
I'm gonna bust it. Oh, okay, there's no caramel there yet. Let me put this down. It's probably right here. Okay, let's see. Ready? Oh, it's probably in the yolk. Hold on, I'm not understanding. I probably need to just bite this. Oh, it's in the yolk. Look. Hmm. So what's awesome is normally when you get candy like a Cadbury egg, it's yellow number whatever and all these red number chemical colors. But this isn't. This this doesn't taste like the color either. It's wait. You get a little bit of white. You know how white has a tinge of a smooth bitterness? Kind of like an acidic um, complement. Dark and light. Milk, chocolate. I need some water. And then you get the smooth caramel buttery. That's pretty good. I, they didn't have much. It was like on the new arrival shelf. And there was probably only six of these, and this was the best looking one. The other ones, um, like the yellow was smushed or something. So that is a great treat for spring and Easter. Happy Easter is coming up. So let's try this Matcha Jojo's now. Matcha Jojo's. Put this over here. Matcha Jojo's. So, on this package, it's saying how to eat them. Look, it says use beak, that's this, your mouth, to twist and pull apart two cookie sides. Each, eat the matcha cream filling, now eat cookie one side at a time. Or dunk the cookies in milk, eat in one bite, repeat again and again. Flap the wings in between cookies and nibble lightly around the edges with beak in a circular mo fashion until cookie is devoured and squawk loudly. Combine with your favorite ice cream, whole or crumbled cookies will work nice. Make up your own cookie eating method. Okay, so let's, let's do this. I'm gonna go get some soy milk because I'm lactose intolerant, but I don't, want, I don't have milk in the house. I took a lactose pill to do this. By the way, if you're lactose intolerant, you can find these in the store, in any health food store. And it's really better than something like, like this because you'll notice the ingredients are totally different from each other. I have so many tips today. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get the almond. I mean, I do have almond milk, but right now soy beverage non-dairy is open. So I'm just going to use that. So this, I love this stuff right here. Soy beverage unsweetened. Because... Look at just what's the ingredients. If you watch my smoothies movie, movies, vids, the smoothies, it's just water, whole organic soybeans. That's the only ingredients. And it sits on the shelf. And once you open it, all you do is just, you know, you open it. You don't even have to shake it. And you just, like, put it in the refrigerator after you open it. And it lasts. And it's good. It doesn't like... Okay, we're going to do this. Hold on. We need more props for the background. I actually have another... There we go. 
something in the background. <laughs> okay, it's saying I have to use my beak to twist and pull apart two cookie sides. My beak is my mouth. Okay, to twist. Uh, eat matcha cream filling. Okay. Mm. You know, if you have matcha, it kind of tastes bitter. But if you've ever had like a creamy matcha that's sweetened, then the sweet and sour complements each other. And that's what's happening in this cream right now. Look how creamy it is. Uh-oh. It's so tender it started to crumble. Now, you can really taste that tea matcha taste. Matcha is like, matcha is green tea, but, hmm, hold on, I love cookies. Now eat cookies one side at a time. I'm eating the cookie. These are really good. Hold on. Very good. The cookie is like, um, it's not like crispy, it's smooth. It's crumbly. You saw how it crumbled. And um, matcha, let me just show you something. Matcha comes in different forms. You can get it in a tea bag. And um, it has matcha powder, you know. Or there's actually the powder. See? That's how you prepare it. But I don't have one of these. When I go to Japan, I'm totally going to get some. But anyway, I don't know if I'm allowed to bring that back. But... The powder consistency look. Can you see it? So the tea is ceremonial. It says green tea is an integral to is in wait integral to the ceremony and tradition in Japan. Matcha is made by crushing the finest organic green tea leaves into refined green tea powder. Contrary, wait, something's weird with the English. Something steeping green tea leaf in the infusions. This deep emerald green powder is whisked into hot water for a satisfying cup of tea and it absorbs 100% of the leaf. So you can, green tea is not just drink now, like classic. They, it is everywhere. It's in smoothies, it's in ice cream, which Trader Joe's will be carrying soon, they told me. But this was, this was really good. Really good, I need some water. It's a little creamy. So anyway. Let me put this back in the fridge real quick. It goes in the refrigerator. Red matcha. So the next thing it says, dunk cookies in milk, eat in one bite. I'm reading what it says on the side. Which, as I said, it's soy milk. And you know what? I'm sorry. I had to open that letter. I was going to wait to contact Jennifer JC so that she can see it. 
but you know I couldn't wait anymore anyway it says dunk cookies and milk eat in one bite repeat again and again okay I keep dunking and look it keeps its consistency together that's wonderful right That's yummy. Because you got the cream and it hits the milk and blends and softens on your palate. So it tastes like you just had like a matcha frappuccino or shake. Oh, that's really good. And then the next one, let me get another drink of water. It says nibble lightly around the edges with beak in a circular fashion until the cookie is devoured and I'm supposed to squawk out loud. <laughs> so why don't we just like push it, push it so the cream's all out. There we go. Now I'm going to nibble. I did it backwards. I was supposed to go around the whole cookie. Until it's gone, but the crumbs are falling, so I can't do it. Hold on. Mm-mm. <laughs> Number four, combine with your favorite ice cream, whole or crumbled cookies will work nicely. I don't have any ice cream. If I had some, I totally would. I don't have any. Make number five, make up your own cookie eating method. Hmm. Let's see. I think I just did. I didn't follow number three. I was supposed to nibble around until the cookie was devoured, but instead I pushed it and ate the cream and then ate it so I guess I already made up my own method so anyway um, thanks for watching I've got some stuff I gotta do I gotta end this live stream right now <laughs> just kidding not right now anyway thanks for watching and um, I am thankful for every subscriber. I am so thankful. And I'm planning to do a little more live streams. I'm just getting used to it, you know. It takes some getting used to talking, you know. But anyway, I've seen that people watch the replay, and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And I hope that you're having a good week and, you know, have a good week next week and wherever you are, God bless you. And I'm going to end this now. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I am lacking subscriptions. What's weird is I'm, my hours have skyrocketed. The minutes and hours that people watch. I have no subscribers hardly so you got to hit the like button for me please hit the like button for me and if not for me for you because it's about you anyway <laughs> I hope I don't have any weird stuff in my teeth but if you don't have Trader Joe's write to them tell them you need a Trader Joe's 
this highly recommended highly recommended today I, I crushed up almond and it was so good it was like crepe fluffy and go run and get your matcha jojos they're in the store and they're seasonable seasonable Ooh, excuse me thanks people I do have let me see I keep saying bye but I'm not going <laughs> I do have um, a few videos that I'm still editing and something in the technology change so I'm having to adjust, readjust how that works when I do videos. But I'm getting better. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. every comment, you know, every subscriber, every like. Thank you so much. So anyway, um, don't forget to turn on your notifications too, because whenever I live stream, which I'm planning to do more, because I have unlimited data, I'm planning to do more. So um, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye.